What up guys? Your boy Danny and we're back. No fishing today. Sorry. No magnet fishing either. Sorry. We're gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna be doing a little how-to video, just a little demo video on how to hook these things up to your kayak, how to hook this little rod holder up to your kayak. Because I know a lot of y'all got those cheap Dix kayaks out there for about 150 bucks around the holidays. They don't have any kind of rod holders, they don't have anything with them. They barely got a little dry storage well. Um, so I want to kind of show you how we can make this a little more fishable. Make it actually something you can take out the water, take out on the water and actually uh, be able to use. Because as of right now, let's take a look at this. As of right now, that is just not going to cut it as a fishing kayak. Where are you going to put your rods? Where are you going to put anything? I mean, you got this little, little bit of storage right here. But that's about it. So we need to find a way to secure these rods and not have them fall out. Boom. And here we go. Let's jump in. First and foremost, you're gonna need your rod holders. Any rod holder would do. I got these for two of these for I want to say ten bucks off Amazon. I haven't even opened it up yet. So if these screws are gonna work, I don't know. I'm thinking about going to get some longer screws um, based off what the review said online. Um, also, let's jump to this. Also, you're gonna want one of these. I want to say this is about two inches, and this is the exact size of these boys right here. Um, and then of course you're gonna want your drill So first off if you have one of these cheap little pelican kayaks, you're gonna have this little hole right here And I think that's where they want us to put the rod holders. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that So you want to put this on To here and if you don't know how to do that you're at the wrong video What you want to do is you want to take that part right there that little middle part and you want to put it on that hole right there I'm sure y'all can't see that hole, but there's a hole right here. Just a little nipple. And I guess that's what you want to call it. Then you want to push down to get it. There's one side. So y'all can see that. One hole here. And one hole here. You see that little screw right there? That is just not going to cut it. That is not going to cut it. I'm just... All right, and since all I had with those little screws, I went and I found these screws right here. I don't trust those little quarter-inch screws for something like this. It honestly seems really stupid for the uh, for the company that whoever made this is putting this out there to do that. I don't know. And you probably could pre-drill these holes but I just don't see a need to it's it's plastic it's not wood you're not gonna split this I mean <laughs> I guess you could but I mean, you're not just like that all right now that we got that one down I'm gonna show you a little optional secret I like to do for this kind of stuff just to just to help preserve it hang on this is good some Loctite I'm gonna put that on top of the screws and hopefully that'll keep moisture off the top of the screws. Help keep them from rusting. Um, just gonna put a nice little dollop in there. Put a nice little dollop in there. And there. And if this was if if this was dry storage on the inside, if you're if you're screwing this into dry storage, um, I would recommend getting some actual caulk in and actually putting a nice little bead down through there. Uh, I would highly recommend doing something like that if it's a dry storage area. Just like so. I'm gonna leave this open so that doesn't accidentally get glued down or anything. So that's one side. That can reach it easy. Good deal. Just like that, guys. It took maybe five minutes at the most to find everything, get some holes put in, 
And that was it. 10 bucks on Amazon. You can be out there fishing in your cheap little dicks, $150, $170 kayak. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, that like button, drop a comment down below, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and how about this? If you happen to be in the Raleigh area, I have another kayak now. Let me get oh, right this boy. I got that kayak and this kayak right here. Both rigged up to do a little bit of fishing. So if you're in the Raleigh area and you need a boat to get out on the water and you've got a spot we can both get out there and get, well, let me know. Let's do some fishing. <laughs> I appreciate you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.